们没给我信号了。Good morning, this is Dr. Gao. Hi, hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, this is Alan Yang from uh, Seoul, and we are ready for your transmission to me with uh, Dr. Yi, Dr. Kim, Dr. An, Dr. Chen, Dr. Chen, Dr. Chung, uh, Dr. Kim, uh, Dr. Luke Park, and uh, Xiong. So, if you can introduce your team and give us a little history, uh, and we can go in. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Yong and Dr. King and Dr. Ye and other uh, chiefs. Uh, very, uh, very glad in, uh, to accept and introduce our team for you uh, today. Uh, uh, this operation is done, is, will be do by me uh, from with China Hospital Cardiovascular uh, Surgery and uh, my assistant, uh, Dr. Chen Yu Chen uh, from cardio uh, cardiologist department and uh, uh, Dr. Liang Peng uh, is a uh, anesthesiologist, and his two uh, sister is Dr. Den and Dr. Chen. So we, uh, the uh, three anesthesiologists, uh, will keep, uh, will maintain the anesthesiologist in our, in our, uh, in this operation. And uh, Dr. Zhu is uh, my sister. Uh, today she, uh, he was, uh, she, uh, he will charge the TEE for us to get to give us uh, guide information. And uh, Dr. Lo, Dr. Zhao. Is a radiologist, and we maintain the uh, angiography today for us. And then next, we will I will introduce my sister, Dr. Fu, is my sister to help me uh, to do the operation together. And the next one, we have to introduce my nurse team is uh, Nurse uh, Ni Hefeng and uh, Nurse Jin Qing and Nurse Yang Tie. So we'll help uh, help me to do the operation. And then the, the, uh, the last we have to introduce the assembly engineer of this valve is Xiang, uh, from uh, to help us to complete this operation together. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Ye, my good old friends, you are here? Yes. James I cannot Lee. hear you, 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 your voice. We can hear you. Please go proceed. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the, the voice is a little bit small, so I will. Okay. Okay. We can hear you very well. Just go ahead and pre present the case, and then we would try to. Okay. Uh, okay. Comment. Okay. Okay. Uh, next, uh, I will introduce the information of this patient. And uh, this patient is uh, 78 years old, uh, old man. Is uh, uh, suffer from the very severe uh, aortic regurgitation, and uh, the very uh, very severe progressive dy dyspnea and a very uh, prefavor edema. Can you see the and slide? And please show this patient is a very severe, uh, 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 very severe uh, aortic regurgitation, and uh, with a little bit of low uh, EF for this patient. And uh, so uh, this patient, uh, we, uh, discuss, we we discuss to. Give a diagnosis for this patient is a degeneration, aortic regurgitation. And for this, uh, for this patient, uh, the uh, past medical history is okay. Next one. And the patient without any diabetes, uh, hypertension, uh, hyperlipidemia, and, and the patient is a history of smoking, more than 20 years. And the patient is 78 uh, uh, with a comp uh, together with a COPD. And the clinical presentation we see is patient is dyspnea, cough, peripheral, and edema, uh, frailty. So next one. So the echo uh, showed this patient is a very severe aortic regurgitation. And the ca cardiac consideration findings, uh, the patient will have to do the angiography. Uh, coronary angiography is a very okay uh, coronary artery stone without any uh, coronary artery, artery stenosis. Next one. And uh, for this patient, uh, we were targeted for this uh, lesion is a very uh, severe aortic regurgitation, dyspnea, heart failure. And we were do this patient uh, is uh, with a TAVA uh, procedure and uh, with a G valve device. And the patient uh, before the operation, we use the the the, hepa uh, the AOM WH is heparin to the and uh, with some natural stress for the patient to do medicine cure. Next one. 
so uh, for this patient, we have to uh, focus uh, some four trees. Uh, first of all, uh, we have to introduce this uh, device. And this device uh, is a JVAV in made in China. It's a very, um, a very, uh, a very small piece of device for with uh, three clubs, uh, clusters to pre to offer precise location. We were uh, this patient is indication uh, not only for the AS but also for the AR aortic regurgitation. For this patient, uh, for this device, uh, offer the two or uh, fourth to uh, help the valve to in, in position with the axis and the radial force. And the process release is a symbolized re release. And the characteristics of the device is a, a very small self-assembly uh, self in vivo and in the, uh, for this patient. So next one, we will, introduce, we will show this procedure for all of us and uh, to maybe discuss something for this patient. OK. Hello? Is there a comment or a question regarding the uh, case presentation? Okay, uh, the Dr. Guo, can you hear me? Okay, Dr. Yes, okay. yes as I'm uh, D.W. Park, is I'm from Assam Medical Center. Our heart team the visit the U.S. Center four months ago. I think uh, the this is a very good time to show the your yes. performance uh, with the J variable. You know, the pure AR, the tower using J variable, this is the first time to see your live case demonstration. So the, you have a large uh, number of experience uh, tower for pure AR with the J variable. And so can you briefly introduce and uh, your clinical indication, which, what kind of a people patient is good for J variable? And, and also, could you briefly introduce a uh, uh, typical feature of the J variable? Okay, the picture? Yeah, yeah, right. So the J variable is uh, not available in our country. Okay, I think okay. That, yeah. Okay, I know, I know. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, we, you, uh, the, the doctor, uh, you have seen our uh, procedure a few months ago in a hospital. So uh, uh, I will introduce this, uh, this, uh, this device for all, of our, uh, all the audience uh, here. And uh, this device, you know, uh, is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, constructed with two parts. One is uh, the anchor and another is the center valve. So the center and uh, the, the anchor is separately uh, 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 involved in the transducer uh, separately, and uh, first of all, we are uh, we because the, the device uh, uh, with the anchor. So we the anchor we are going to the very vessel sinus uh, 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 firstly, and then we uh, pull down the valve to the uh, to the uh, to the to the annular. So when we release the when we release the, when we release the valve when we release the valve the stench and the and uh, the anchor where uh, to uh, set up a, a clasper to uh, hold the valve, the valve tissue. So we can use the, this force to uh, help the valve in position very well. So um, this valve, uh, the size of this valve is from the 21 to 29 node. So most of the patient we can use, we, uh, the, the annular diameter from the 21 to 29 is okay. Uh, even because of the radio uh, force uh, exists in this device. So even if we cannot use it, even, even if uh, the patient without, uh, uh, without any classification of the, in, uh, of the valve tissue, we can use the valve to do the procedure. Okay, great. Okay. We, we have the picture of the valve on the screen here, so we can actually see um, what you are describing as well. But I cannot see the screen. <laughs> you can see the valve, so. <laughs> Maybe Dr. Ye will introduce this device for you, Mayor, here. You can see the picture there? Yeah, we have a picture here. So, uh, Dr. Guo, uh, nice to see you on the screen. Uh, really looking forward to see you. You're the expert in this area, you know, I. Visited you uh, before, okay. and you were the first uh, first one implant this, uh, this valve. A lot of experience. Okay. So this valve is a, is, a, is, a, is a unique. is a, is a two parts. is a clasper and is a stent. They are detached, but they're also attached. 
So that's really the mm -hmm. uh, smarter design. So when you deploy it, you deploy it as a cluster first independently. So no one where I was is, is you can do that because all uh, stand and the clasper, they touch each other. So you, you do one thing, so you will another thing, they affect other things. So this is one is a detached, so you can deploy the, the clasper first and the valve still clean for the completely and the, the clasper is, uh, is deployed completely. So that, that way the clasper is fully deployed. It's, the, it's, it's a full size, so it's easy to catch the leaflets and then the valve is, uh, is uh, automatic will be uh, positioned. So that's uh, really an advantage for this valve. Uh, they class different size as well, so I presume they're different size for, for the two parts, right? Everything yeah. is custom to that size. Yeah, also the, 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 if you look at it uh, compared to the other valve, and this is a clasp is, a, is really wide mm -hmm. and the half circle shape. So it's really like it's a fit into the uh, sinus. So that's why I will show the video in, uh, in, uh, later on. And uh, basically this is a clasp that is automatically positioned. If you're pulling down, this uh, because it's so wide, they, be, they will automatically into the sinus. So it's all self-positioning. Uh, so that's another advantage compared to the other uh, device with the clip. Thanks. So would you please explain the size of clasper and valve okay. and your patient's analyst, I would say. Would you, okay. would you please explain once again Let's your on. patient's endless okay. diameter and your preferred size of clasper and the valve? Ah. Oh, endless diameter is uh, 20. Uh, we, we, we analysis this patient from the CT scan. The annular diameter is uh, 27.1. Okay. Uh, so we use it, uh, we select the 27, size 27 valve to do this procedure. Dr. Gu, you based on the, 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 the diameter or the area? Okay. Uh, the the the, the yeah. diameter, uh, the, the from the prefer the parameter derivative well yeah. to 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 and uh, to to do to, to measure the diameter. Okay, so maybe we can just go ahead with the procedure, and then we can come back and discuss okay. a bit more, see exactly what you do, and uh, many questions maybe. So you have tr um, have gotten a transapical uh, okay. puncture yet? Okay, or? thank you very much, and uh, okay. we will go. We move on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, no, uh, for, you know, for most of the patients, uh, they uh, because suffer from the aortic regurgitation, so the left ventricular will enlarge very greatly. So uh, we we always use the uh, you know uh, most of the port, uh, apex is a uh, uh, the four or five uh, intercostal space. Well, because the uh, cost of the most of the uh, patients, the heart enlarged, enlarged very greatly. So we only use the, uh, we, oh, oh, we always use the, uh, with the mosquito here, you can see from the, from the screen. Use the mosquito here to, to suggest us where is the apex site. And then from the side, we just uh, uh, cut, the, cut open the intercostal space and to make a hole here, you can see about three centimeter. And then we use a suture with a with a six stitch, and then to be uh, about the diameter about a one centimeter uh, a, a, a stitch here. You can see from the here. And uh, you know uh, before the operation, we have to make sure with the TEE to show that the uh, the patient uh, will almost without any uh, in, in, uh, any sick of the valve tissue uh, the the lifted. So we use a, uh, the patient, the echo show this is a very severe regurgitation. You can use the color. Okay, you can see from the, uh, the TAE, the valve is okay, and, uh, but the, it's very severe uh, regurgitation. And uh, now uh, we have to put the, the, the pigtail to the, uh, to, the, to the root of the uh, aortic. Then uh, we'll puncture with uh, five, uh, five F uh, uh, thermal puncture from the, uh, from the apex mode. Okay, let's go. Okay, T. Okay, angiography. Beginning. Yeah. This is the image you can see, right? This one. Okay. We just puncture from here uh, into the left ventricular, and uh, make sure into the left ventricular. 
and then with the guide one into the lateral trochlear, right, to see. And you can see the tongue tongue quickly. So we have what's what's passed through the aortic valve, and uh, now we have to make sure from the PE the the guide one without uh, any. Uh, to trust with the uh, metal valve leaflet. You can see the, okay? No, okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, You can see the guide one going to the left ventricular and go to the ascending aorta. And uh, far away from the left uh, metal valve, uh, metal leaflet, anterior leaflet. Okay, do you see? Okay, going to, to the ascending oh, aorta. Okay, down longer. And here. So it's here. And with the MAT, and go into the ascending aorta again. So we have two tantalum we treat. We have to make sure the 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 the, the guide one go pass through the the ascending aorta, ascending aorta arch, descending. and to go into the descending aorta. We treat it. We want to treat Okay, so let's then go to the doctor. And then we will change the, the extra stiff. Yeah, we have changed the guide one to extra stiff to extra support stiff. some maintain of the patient. The and uh, 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 sometimes I have to uh, uh, to uh, advise to make a make a curve at the tip of the guide one to avoid the guard one going to the branch of the descending aorta. Do you see? Okay, we have to make sure the, the, the tip of the guide one. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. So it's okay, and uh, we'll go back to the tongue in case. And we just raise the curve here to hold the guide one and to, to push a little bit here to, to the heart to avoid the bleeding here. And uh, we use a 14 French uh, puncture. She's into the Left ventricular. Okay. Yeah, we just do to pre dilation of the puncture there. For this puncture point. Because you know our transducer size is, uh, Dr. Ye know the transducer size is uh, 33 French. A very big French from here, so uh, we want to very easy to pass through into the the apex. So we use uh, we do the French uh, 14 French size to to give a predilation of the apex. So you use the dilator all the time, but you know uh, for this patient uh, is a uh, suffer. What? I say you you use dilator because right? Because the patient is French? always is suffer from the aortic regurgitation. Uh, 14 French just uh, dilates the, the puncture point here. So you know the, the transducer size is uh, 33. So uh, for the very easy to go into the left ventricular later, we have to use the uh, 40 French to dilate the apex uh, uh, point. But we need to dilate the, the valve because the patient is suffer from the regurgitation. Okay. And uh, now we want to do the angiography of the 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 aortic root, the 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 tongue one, okay. Okay, two two, huh? And uh, uh, as a, before the operation, we have to measure this patient should uh, uh, cut off for fifteen degree, and to make a, a better angiography uh, of the root. So we were going to do the angiography of the root. Go, sign. Uh, so maybe 
，我要装一个角度。加一点左前斜可能是吧？嗯，对。You know, you can see this burn tree is uh, the non coronary sinus and the right coronary sinus is okay. But the left coronary artery sinus is a little bit uh, not so good. So we will and graph it again. Okay? Okay, we will use AOAO 5 degrees. Okay? That's all you can. Okay, uh, better. Okay, we can see the. The left coronary artery, uh, left coronary sinus is okay, and uh, there's the three sinus in a line, in a, in a, in the same line. So uh, for this patient, we have selected 27 uh, device, and uh, we have a same line okay. Uh, by the doctor, uh, by the, uh, Mr. Shang is okay. And we can see uh, it's a very prolapse of the left uh, uh, non non coronary uh, sinus. Uh, it's a very severe regurgitation from the uh, non coronary sinus. Okay, let's go. Do you okay? Okay. 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 And uh, we will uh, guide her with the, the guide one, and uh, the transducer will come on. Yeah. So, just uh, come by with me. Okay. So, everything is okay. Oh. Give me a sample. So, and now we just lose a little bit of the the suit stitch, so we can uh, easily to pass through from the apex into the arch. Okay, and you just try to go into the left ventricular. Okay, so this. So James, uh, coaxial is important here to deploy okay. those. Uh, and it was pretty much uh, self-centering. Yeah, not so important what? compared to the CT. Coaxial. Uh, Dr. Ko, you want to okay, com uh, comment on the so on the coaxial? I think the coaxial is okay. You're not uh, so critical. I think uh, the, it's okay. It's a little bit of transverse, uh, transverse uh, of the patient, uh, heart of the patient. Maybe so pulling the wire to, can uh, help to it adjust the, well. the, 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 the transducer. Yeah, sometimes when we go into uh, go, when we go into the ascending aorta, we are poor, we are poor a little bit, but not still in the left ventricular. That's just come come along. We do it. Okay, then go two way on Sancho. We just poor back there, uh, but 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 this one we do it. Okay, you can see a little bit uh, uh, transverse here, so we can just uh, push the 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 the, the, the transducer a little bit, like this, like that, and pull the guide one a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Going through. Okay, now uh, for the for the device for the valve and the anchor is go up to the annular annular plane. So we will release the first step to to release the uh, the anchor. Uh, Dr. Ku, you usually have to pull the pigtail up already, or you want to keep a pigtail at the aortic level? Yeah, 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 but still, it's, it's not needed. We just have to rotate a little bit to make sure there's three anchors going to the sinus. Very well. Okay, the big tap go back. And the uh, And we will angiograph it now to make sure the three anchors going to the three sinus very well. You can see the three, uh, the three anchor going to the left. Uh, can we switch? Uh, to, yeah, thank you. Going to the three sinus very well. Just, uh, yeah, okay. let it play back for a little bit. For and uh, then we will put on two, uh, step two, the key two, and then we can see the valve going down to the label plane. Okay. And I know if you want, you will have to make sure the valve is okay. We have to make angiography again. Okay, 好,好,没关系,没关系,好,来,再来. 
Okay, the valve is okay, and uh, we are, the access is not so good, so we have to pull down the a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now it's okay, huh? Uh, let's do it again. Huh? I know. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay. It's okay. 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 Let's check it out. We we'll stop the ventilator and the echo is away. Okay. Is okay. <laughs> so yeah. we can see the uh, echo in the position. Oh, okay. The, 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 the yeah. systolic pressure is uh, increased greatly yeah. from the 40 to the 60 now. And we're just waiting for a few minutes uh, or one minute to make sure the valve is dilated very well. You can see from the PEE almost without any leakage, a very little bit. So you can see from the monitor, the, the, the monitor, the pressure increased greatly. So we have to uh, suggest the necessity just to decrease the pressure a little bit. Uh, Doctor Ye, any question? And uh, uh, now we have just waiting for one minute to give the patient to, to give the device to self extension enough. So, so James, what holds Stop. the valve together with the clasp? The, the clasper. The, the clasper, clasper is attached somehow to the valve, right? No, just a sandwich is a major valve. So it's not, uh, it, but it's two are separate. The yeah. valve and the clasper are not attached. They they detached, but uh, attached. Uh, so, uh, so that's why the valve you put it down is a, is a lock. So you don't need to adjust the valve position because you just uh, turning, turning until the stop. Because of the 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 okay. clasp and the valve, it's uh, it's attached with the with, with the suture. Okay. So you cannot uh, okay. uh, too deep or too, too high because uh, it's a it's predetermined the relationship. <laughs> So we just uh, to to the, to 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 close the the sheets together. Okay. So, but one minute one one minute later, we will release the valve to the bed. You know, you can see from the Andrew, uh, Andrew the, the the screen. You can you can see the three locks with the uh, connector with the uh, transducer with the, the they stand together. And uh, no. We will rotate it to release it. The time to do it. Time to do it. Time to last to So James, again, what? So okay. what holds the valve release together? Uh, the self self expanding valve holding a bit, and the clasp is also okay. holding. But if you, uh, if you are surgeon, you just pull it from the aorta. You just pull the valve out. Will it come out very oh, easily? Very easy. if you so really want to pull. Yeah, out let's say you just you know just want to pull it up yeah, from yeah, above. So really, what's holding just the clasp a bit? Yeah. The radial force of the, the clasper and the valve radial force. Because you really don't need a force uh, okay. during the systole. Right. The right. only diastole do you push to the ventricle. Mm -hmm. So the clasp is basically sitting on the valve. To That's prevent the going backwards. You don't really need a too much uh, sandwich okay. force uh, to the leaflet. Uh, very good result. Uh, if uh, after implantation of J-valve, if, if there are some uh, significant amount of no, leg so uh, you can do so uh, post dilation. Yes, so you can do the post dilation. Oh, OK. OK. But the most time you don't need it. There is a pinpoint uh, paragraph yeah. leakage at 12 o'clock. Yeah. Is it usually You can see from the TEE that the valve extension very well. Uh, usually, because it's alpha, it's a nano, right? So it will take a little time to, to expand it, so... Uh, yeah. Usually, we should yeah. 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 Uh, reduce uh, and uh, we will we will angiography again to make sure the valve is okay. So we shall Okay. You can see the valve is very well. It's very good. Yeah. And we we will pull out the guideline with the my ABP going to the. Descending aorta to maintain the 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 guide one go pull out very safely, mm. very safely. And okay. So, so James, okay. if this valve over time so, so gets to not, will the heart just spit it out? 
let's say over five years, ten years, and the leaf will start to degenerate and becomes stenotic. That would it just pop it out, throw it out, because as resi the heart is ejecting and pushing against this resistance, and there's not much holding it. Fibrosis. Uh, I don't think it will come out. <laughs> is it Dr. Zhu, Dr. Dr. Zhu, sort of can you explain yeah, yeah, the transesophageal finding? <laughs> can you can you explain the uh, transesophageal <laughs> echo finding? Oh, echo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Key finding. Yeah. Echo, e echo was very good. Echo was very good. It's, it's no leakage at all, and yeah. uh, the valve is in good position. Mm -hmm. You can see the echocardiogram is no no conduction blockage. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna change the angle for it. Yes, I think it is very important. Yeah, the looking at, lo looking at the finding just the little little the uh, yes. minimal AR is the, the result is excellent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's very good. I'm gonna measure the. the, the I think you should put in like a venous A valve from the airway, lock it down with the superannular fixation so it won't move in the future. <laughs> After it becomes synodic, you know. That's okay. Okay, Dr. Ye is okay. just a clasp though, right? And it's neat, but you might want to put something there that facilitate fibrosis or something on the Casper. I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know what, what would happen. Uh, you can see the echo. The speed is uh, less than one meter. Mm -hmm. It's very low. Pretty good hemodynamics. And yeah, very good at, uh, dynamics. And uh, now we will pull out to the gutter one together totally, and we will angiography again to make sure the valve is okay. Yeah. Okay. The last angel. The last angel. Then you go. Turn. Turn to one. Turn. Turn to one. Turn. Turn to one. Turn. I just pull out to the TE. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dr. Ko, what's your experience about a pacemaker? Uh, no, the pacemaker, uh, the pacemaker just a standby. Uh, what's we're the here, rate of the pacemaker implantation? Later, we'll pull out the, 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 we'll get a I just ask uh, what's the rate of a pacemaker a implantation yeah. after this valve? Yeah, because you know, you can see the valve is not is is not needed to oversize to implantation the device. You know, this device we just always this patient we just uh, uh, measure the diameter of the patient is only twenty seven point one. So we we only need to select the 27, 27 size twenty seven uh, device to implant. You can see the result is very good. So it's not a, it's so we, we don't we need to worry about uh, we need to, to oversize this, this valve very uh, very greatly, a little bit or maybe a single size or downsize is okay. Even if we use this valve in the stenosis uh, patient, uh, aortic stenosis patient, we can downsize this valve to uh, to to implantation the, the valve. So uh, because the size we we need to oversize so much, the patient is, uh, the, the the device avoid a high pacemaker implantation rate. We were angiography again. Okay. Okay, how much? Okay. How? Angiography? Okay, great. Very good. Looks great. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, Dr. Guo, you already yeah. experienced more than 100 cases uh, pure AR with J variable. Uh, do you have any experience uh, late, uh, one or two days later, migration of the J valve after implantation? Did you experience that? No. Uh, for very, very few cases, uh, if we maybe sometimes uh, we, 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 we uh, my opposition in the during the operation, only one percent, at least one percentage. Yeah. So at that time, don't worry about it. We just uh, to pull the valve, the, the first valve to the descending aorta, yeah. and then we put on uh, put into another the second valve into it, and the, the result is very good. 
Dr. Gu, there is mild uh, regurgitation. Is it parabevelar or transvalvular? If it is parabevelar, when we choose a bigger size, can we prevent such kind of mild degree of leakage? Uh, I think it's not necessary because you know the the, patient, uh, the, the device with a cluster. When they cluster going to the sinus, they just pull back the the, the leaflet very, uh, together to the stent, and the with the when when the valve released totally, you know the stent and the class the, the anchor will uh, make uh, set up a cluster to pull the valve back to to nearby to to to, to the stent. So it's a very good uh, 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 advantage for the device to use the native leaflet to uh, avoid the, maybe to decrease the PV error rate. Very good. Any questions uh, for Dr. Gao? Just a little. I, I know this, uh, this is a very, uh, you can see you know. from the TEE, it's very, 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 very tiny, the, yeah, PV error here. Okay, the Dr. Guo, the more than half of audience in this auditorium are interventional cardiologists. Uh, I know the J valve is a uh, currently developing transfemoral. Uh, the J valve is. Uh, could you comment for that? The status of the transfemoral, the J valve implantation. I think, uh, you know, uh, transepics may be sometimes a little bit more damaging for the patient. And, uh, you know, transfemoral is a, is, a is a future tendency for us. And uh, we have a trial, uh, we have cooperation with the company together uh, to push the transfemoral device in China in the, fu in the, uh, in the future, a few months later. And uh, we will do the uh, clinical trial in China, and then we will just uh, to uh, maybe next year we will give us a, a, a new device so with a transfemoral pr procedure. Great. So James, do you think I think this the, the future is uh, transfemoral, I think. Do you think yeah. this um, technology could be used for uh, the tricuspid valve? In the same direction of release, maybe no, maybe not three class, maybe maybe, oh, more, maybe some sort of modification. I, I think it's very difficult, you know, to cast the valve is, you know, as a anchored into yeah. the back of it. Mushing hollow. I don't know. I'm just thinking that because it's relatively easy to go that yeah, direction, right? So okay. Yeah, actually, uh, in the future, you know, you know the trans uh, the the. the uh, the tricuspid valve annular is very soft, and uh, they, you know the tricuspid valve diameter is very big. Okay, okay, okay. He asked, can I use the 3.8 valve? Yes, yes, yes. He said it's tricuspid valve. Bicuspid, he said bicuspid. The Sanjay band, he asked the Sanjay band. Tricuspid, not the aortic position. Did you get it? It's not going to be in the middle. Could we use the same gene band on it? Tricuspid valve. Wait, hello? This is the most important part. Can you hear? Come, I'll just point it. It is very feasible because the femoral vein is wide and we can use the same direction. Yeah,对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对
It's just that angle of going into transcuspid could be a little ch challenging. Hello? Yes, Dr. Gao. Uh, what's your okay, average time for the case? I know you're very fast. And I, I think will uh, introduce some experience for the bicuspid. Okay. I will, I will introduce some experience in, in our team use the, the, the G valve in bicuspid uh, patient. You know, uh, the, the device with a three class, uh, three, uh, three anchor. And the when we met with the bicuspid, you know, only two by two sinus. So we just uh, uh, go into the, transdu the transducer, into the ascending aorta. And when we pull down the device, uh, the, the device, we will adjust the, the three anchor going to the two sinus separately. And the one sinus is with two anchor, and another is one, an one anchor. It's okay. Uh, sometimes maybe you can see, uh, you, you maybe you can see the, the, the cluster is not so, so perfect image but it works very well. The two cluster go into one sinus and the one another go into another sinus is okay. Yeah. We have more than 10, uh, 10 cases experience in bicuspid valve. And uh, yeah, for especially for aortic regurgitation. Yeah. Hello? I, I think that works well, especially a lot of bicuspid, these two sinuses are okay. not symmetrical. So the bigger one can take two and the slightly smaller one can take one, for example. And or in some uh, type one bike spout valve, there is definitely three three sinuses. Uh, it is not a big deal. So it's, it seems to, to congratulations. Seems like it went very smoothly, very easy, and uh, obviously in your expert way. hands in terms of uh, doing a trans uh, apical um, puncture with a, a, a pretty good sized sheath. Uh, so uh, congratulations for great work, and look forward to hearing more of your data um, going forward and potentially using in other valves as well and also transfemoral approach. So any more questions from panel? Um? Congratulations, excellent uh, demonstration. Okay, uh, Dr. Thank, thank you, Dr. Yi, yeah. my girlfriend. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Gao, great work. Thank you, Dr.